Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video, boys. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Another episode of the Road to Azabi RTG. We're not messing about. It's something I've always wanted to do a Road to Glory on YouTube. I'm enjoying it, I'm putting consistently editing. I just love everything about it. Just showing you guys my journey and how I hopefully hit that Azebio and my dream team without spending a penny on this bloody game. That's how the game should be. Thing. Uh, that's how the game uh, ultimate team game mode should be but yeah don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe put notification on if you haven't already so you'll be notified when uploading and streaming and yeah man let's get straight into this video as you guys can see the previous episode if you haven't already go check it out we did finish with 14 wins boys 14 wins I, I believe I did play a game straight after we played this team with like Lampard and everything but killing Mbappe is through here one on one and unfortunately to this day to this day I'm joking. Um, I don't know how the hell he missed that. Like, that's an absolute joke. How the hell did he miss that? I will ha never have an idea. But in this video, I'd like to show. I wanted to show you guys a bit more gameplay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm showing you guys way more gameplay. That's why the video is a bit longer, but it's more fun as well. But yeah, man, this guy had a really nice team. Frank Lampard icon. Hope we're going to be getting an icon soon, boys. Got Nabil Fakir to the pie. Tries to do the flip flap there, but brilliant tackled there by him. He had Jaden Sancho Royce. He had a nice Bundesliga team with Frank Lampard in the middle. Fabinho has been one of the best players I've used in this weekend ever. Like, he might not be the best at shooting, he might not be the best at drill, but overall, he's just so composed. His physicality, he just tackles everyone. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, this guy's running with Kadera a bit down the wings. Flip Anderson sticks a leg out i'm pretty sure that was a dial light there was no need for a penalty there but he does get a penalty 10 minutes into the game it was not looking good boys marco royce does step up i mean frank lampard after and we dive to the left hand side he shoots down the middle and he is one no up and the worst thing he does the diving celebration ah that's triggering triggering but yeah 10 minutes i want to concede early than concede late 10 minutes in did he deserve that probably not but it's just how it works, I guess. Yeah, we needed to react. We needed a good reaction because this guy was a good player, man. We were playing people with a similar record or even better records than us. And they were doing bits. But Tovan takes a shot. And, nah. It was not meant to be, boys. It was literally not meant to be. As you guys can see, we do hit the post there twice from kickoff. Like, what the f... Oh, man. It's annoying because them games where you lose... Despite, I'll just be thinking about those two posts. And after he goes there from a counter attack and he scores, he literally scores straight away with Frank Lampard and he does a diving celebration. So 14 minutes in, we are 2 0 down. The second goal should have never happened. Like, first goal, debatable. The second goal, I hit the post twice, he counter attacks me and scores. It just happens, man. It's one of those games that you do what you can it just doesn't want to happen but yeah man we needed to react we're still it's only 15 minutes and we have time memphis to pie with a brilliant thingy there but we do lose the ball skip to the 27 minute robertson to fakir now both fakir releases it to felipe anderson he's been attacked this does a cheeky fake shot outside the box of fabinho to fakir to tovan with a brilliant turn back to fakir this is just crazy football we try finessing it there we get a bit lucky the rebound tovan turns uh Boateng and he puts us Two, well, he scores a goal for us and makes the scoreline 2-1. So we're back in the game, 30 minutes in. Absolutely crucial. Loving that. 30 minutes in, we have the whole... If we could get a goal in this first half, it would be insane. Because after that means we would have the whole second half to um, to get the winner. But yeah, man, it puts him under pressure as well. It's good to get that one goal. It's only one goal deficit now. The game's open, back in it. Memphis Depay, what a signing. Switches it to Kylian Mbappe. 30 second minute, Mbappe with a cheeky score move there, Boateng comes to pressure, I try sweaty it there, but he does lunge in, slide tackle and does stop that from happening. But we were playing well man, we are creating chances, we could comfortably be 2-2 two -two up, even 3-2 but yeah, you know this guy will get a bit lucky, a bit clinical as well, fair play to him. Flip Anderson to Memphis, Memphis tries turning him, this Boateng was solid this game, his driven Boateng was doing bits the whole game. 
was a tough defender to go through. Maybe it was just him defending manually, but he was really good, man. He tried to switch the play there, but he doesn't get the ball. Fabinho, Fabinho, look at that. Fabinho releases to Fakir, back to Fabinho. Fabinho tries cutting in there, but Frank Lampard does get the tackle in. Like, Varane just about got the ball there. If he didn't, Royce would have been through. Memphis Depay, like, we were starting to lose the ball. Like, these 5-10 minutes, we were starting to lose the ball. Especially the 35th to the 40th minute, we started to lose the ball easily. But Mbappe with a brilliant skill moves there. Tutavan, who releases it to Felipe Anderson, who goes down the line. Sweaties it. I don't know what the hell happened. Depay tried shooting first, and I think he touched it or something. Hit Neuer. After the ball just still stayed there, Depay, with a free goal, just hits it in. Loving that. We're 2 2. We equalise just before half time. Absolutely crucial, boys. Insane. 41 minutes in, 2 2, 2 0 down. It's always good to react. You need to stay composed because obviously, when you're losing, you can get a bit triggering, especially when it's those type of games that the two goals are a bit of bullshit, to be honest. Like, he did not deserve that, especially the one where I hit the post twice and off the counter attacks and scores. He did not deserve that. You need to know how to stay composed and just be concentrated. Do not let FIFA get to you when you're 2 0 down. Because if you do, then it's an, straight away, there's no even point in playing. It's an automatic loss there. But as you see there, he wasn't playing there. Memphis Depay tries to shoot. Matt, and after he comes back to the controller, Mats Hummels does block it there. Fabinho to Tavan, Nabil Fakir. Fakir is actually a tank. Releases it to Felipe. Felipe with a cheeky fake shot. Down the, down the line again. We try crossing it. Jerome Boateng once again. But this time, it comes to us. Memphis Depay puts it in the back of the net. 3-2. He, he tried clearing it there. Depay sticks a leg. We do win the rebound. And after we do score, 3-2. So we're 3-2 up after 45 minutes when we were 2-0 down. Absolutely insane. After we score another game with Depay, I'm just showing you guys the clip speed. It was crazy, man. After this game, we started taking over. We started dominating, opening up gaps. He started going all attacking, forming gaps. Like, his team was not organised at this stage. We abused that. We are just keeping the ball, seizing the game out. As you see, 82 minutes in, it is 5-3. Madness, man. I'm glad that I, I was able to react. Because if it was other games, I would just lose. But skipping straight to the next game, boys. 45th minute in. It was a pretty dead game in the start. Christian Eriksen does put him in the lead. Brilliant long shot there. Especially once 46 minutes, just before half time, he gets that 1 0 lead with Christian Eriksen. Good goal, man. Fair play to him. Good goal. Sometimes when the game is tight and you can't break each other's defences, long shots is the way to go. But yeah, 45 minutes in, we are losing 1 0 due to a mad goal by Christian Eriksen. But yeah, we're going to half time, 1 0 down, but we're still in the game. That's the most important. 1 0, one, one goal can. Like, a lot of things can happen in the game and you can easily change it around, to be honest. Do, 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 do. Christian Eriksen, PGU, PUFC. But yeah, we go to half time, 1 0 down, skip to the 67th minute. But he's still 1 0 up, he's trying to seize the game out. But we two tackle him there with Kante. Oh, Fakir tackles Kante. After, bang, Fakir gets the goal. Key. Fakir tackles Kante. The ball for, uh, pass it to Mbappe. Mbappe back into Fakir. Fakir's one on one with Courtois. Takes a shot. He tries moving this keeper manually. But we do put it in the back of the net, which is the most important. 70th minute in. It was a tough game. We equalised, which was absolutely insane. Skip to the 74th minute. He tries to attack there. Tovan gets a tackle there. Mbappe with a bit of flair. Bit of skill moves. Releases it to Nabil Fakir, who slots it in once again. This guy. Absolute bargain. Trust me, I can't wait for him to get his UCL boost, uh, his rating boost, because he's going to be insane. Because uh, Leon are going to go through, even if they don't go to Europe League. So, either way, he's going to get a boost, and it's just going to be madness. Like, he's been so influential in us having a good run. But, yeah, man, so, like, we turned this game around. Like, it was pretty surprising. Well, not surprising, but it was a pretty tight game to be fair. Because he had seven shots, I had ten shots. It was a tough game to turn around. I was struggling to break through his defence. But the most importantly is that we got to turn the game around. Sergio, Sergio. But yeah, we had a clip speed in here, as you guys will see. We do ourselves Marco Royce, Salvio. Trying to seize the game out, keeping the ball. Some the thing I realised in this weekend league compared to the other weekend leagues is that I'm way I'm way more consistent. Way more consistent. Literally, way more consistent. We get our third goal as well with Eduardo Salvio. What a beast. We 
bloody get the win. But yeah, we go straight into game 23, boys, as you guys can see. Game 23 after winning the other previous game, which was absolutely insane. A tough game, and we did get the win. Something that in the previous weekend days I was struggling to, especially in the last 10 games. Being consistent was always been tough. I would go on the 16 and 4, but after I would literally win like two games at the end of the last 10 games, which was shocking. But we have to stay positive. This guy had Neymar, uh, Memphis Depay, Kylian Mbappe. Really, really nice looking team. For some reason, there was a glitch. I was showing the previous scoreline there. But there we were, free one up. Pretty awesome. We're playing this guy called X Vincent. Vincent, whatever his name was. But yeah, he had a really nice looking team. But it was important, it was crucial that we could get this W, boys. Because if we get this W, it's starting to become real realistic. Every win, we're getting closer to our gold one dash elite spot, which is crazy. I really want to hit it. You guys don't understand, like, I've been stuck in gold two for years. <laughs> and I feel like I'm good enough. It's so tough when you think you're good enough. Like, you know you're good enough, but you just don't hit it. Because of lack of mistakes. Or lack of, I don't know, man. Being clinical, mistakes, lots of factors. But yeah, 45, the first half was pretty dead. It was a draw. Nil nil. So skip straight to the second. Nibble for Kier, keeping the ball under control, turning him, releasing it to Tovan. This guy had Zola, man. That's crazy. Flaha Tovan, calmly releasing it to Memphis. Memphis with a scoop turn, shoots it, bang. We're 1 0 up after 50 minutes. What an important goal. Especially when we're both struggling to break each other's defences in the first half. We bang, get that goal. 70 minutes in, skip to the 70th. We're still 1 0 up. He's trying to pause the game there. He's got the ball in Memphis. Danny Alves trying to form gaps, trying to wait for the right moment. Kipembe to Pogba. Pogba to Sola. Tries to do a drag back there, but Robertson tackles him. Flip Anderson. Quick free ball to Fakir. Fakir to Memphis. Kipembe is coming for Memphis to buy. Memphis to buy turns him, releases it to Nabil Fakir, who turns him again. And we do get a cheeky penalty. What a bloody counter attack. That is the definition of a counter attack. We do get a penalty from it. It was important that we could score this. Fabinho steps up, takes two steps as usual. Tradition. Steps up. He's got Gianluigi Buffon. Fabinho. Fenessa to the right hand side. He dives to the left. Keeper to the one side. P penalty. Uh, penalty taken to the other side. Perfect penalty. Bang. 2 0 up after 74th minute. All if we have to do, seize the game out, keep the ball. And gold one, Dash Elite, was starting to become a realistic approach. Because we're getting the W's. It's looking good, boys. It's looking really good. But yeah, we just add the clip speed now. We literally just seize the game out. Just hold on to it. And yeah, man. We're just literally keeping the ball 2-0. It's important. Because if not, you're going to lead counters. And they're just going to score from it. This is an important aspect that you guys need to improve in your game. And I felt like it improved my game a lot. Because sometimes I'll be winning 2 3 nil, and I'll just force their attack when there was no need. Because after that, would lead for me to conceding because they would just counter me. But yeah, we do hit goal 2, boys, as you guys can see. 17 wins. It was looking good. We come across this team. And I don't even know. What, oh, man. This is the most heartbreaking game. You guys don't even understand. It was a tough game. I was struggling. But the worst comes, and you guys will understand what I mean in a bit when it does pop up. It was so annoying, man. So we're one nil up, right? After one one, one one, right? We get two one. After my friend invites me to a party, I join the party and I get kicked out for inactivity. That should have been a W. Maybe we would have won that game. Maybe we would have lost. Maybe that would impact our record. Maybe we could have hit elite. I don't know, boys. But yeah, we skip straight to game twenty. 25 I believe 26 oh that was so heartbreaking because I, I was winning that game it was a tough game I joined the party invite and after I lose overall like nah nah why why did I join the party I learned from that I'm not going to be doing that again ever again but yeah we come ag across this team he's got Martial nice looking team Bellarabi also good for Kier it's a point we get that win after taking an L for no for no reason man we literally took an L for no reason like what the hell was that but yeah, skip to the 17th minute. He's running there with Kyle Jury. Robertson gets the interception there. Philippe Anderson does a bad pass. Memphis to bite to Martial. Martial, bang, takes a finesse. Boom. He's 1 0 up due to a mistake of Philippe Anderson. Tries to pass it back to the defender, but passes it to his attacker, which starts his attack, and he does get a finesse just outside the box. 19 minutes in, he's 1 0 up. It's not looking good. I was just thinking, please don't be the start of a downhill. Like, oh man, it's so frustrating. Don't want it to be the start of a downhill and me not hitting that gold one dash elite spot. 
But yeah, man, really good goal by him. Fair play to him. He took advantage of my mistake. Maybe I should have turned. Maybe I should have passed it more accurately. I don't know. Maybe aimed a pass, but I didn't. And he took advantage of it. Fair play to him. But yeah, man, it was important we react. Um, Fleet Panthers had tried to do a free ball there to the pie. He uses it for the cavity and stops us from going through there. But yeah, man, this guy was a really good player, man. He was keeping the ball. He knew what to do at certain stages of the game. He was a tough opponent, especially when you're chasing the result against him. It was tough. But yeah, brilliant through ball there. Kareem Bellarabi, pretty um, by Courtois there, who comes out. And Fabini helps out as well there. Cheekily, nearly, we nearly lost the ball there. But most importantly, we stopped the goal. But yeah, man, as you can see, we're starting to lose the ball easily. I don't. I think that, that L where I joined the party and got kicked out for inactivity got to me. I'm not going to lie, it got to me because that was going to be four wins on the bounce. And we lost that game for no reason, man. It's just giving a win away. But yeah, it got to me. We started losing the ball. Kylian Mbappe to Tavan, who takes a shot and slots it in. We finally get close to his net. Finally get close to his goal. And we finally get the bloody goal. It was crucial. I thought this was the moment where we could turn it around. Stop playing FIFA because these 26 minutes, we have been appalling. But we were clinical. We did get a banging goal by Forvin, who's been an absolutely insane player for our team. Absolutely crucial, playing in the centre mid role and he's doing absolute bits. But as you see, from kickoff he goes with Fakir, Robertson. I just clear it, man, because pressure's starting to hit me. I know I'm not playing the best, but it's, I'm still in the game. It's time to switch on and get that win. I don't know what the hell he's doing there with his Fakir, but he just runs out of play. Fabinho to Felipe Anderson. Once again, Felipe Anderson does another bypass. I don't know if it was just the pressure I was getting to me or, or the previous game. But I was losing the ball too easy this game. But Fabinho does recover it. Releases the Kylian Mbappe down the wings. And we all know what Kylian Mbappe can do in those wings. Brilliant flip flap there. He's still going man. That's crazy. The ball for to Fabinho. Does a fake shot. Releases it to Kylian Mbappe. Takes a shot. What a save by his keeper. If we scored that that would have been insane. But we were putting the pressure on. We were starting to switch on. Fakir to Felipe. Down the wing. Tries drill it in back into the box. But he does block it there. We do get a corner. Forvin whips it in. The ball feels for Felipe Anderson. And I thought that was going to be a penalty, to be fair. But nope, the ref doesn't give it a penalty. Karim Bellarabi is running down, down. He starts a counter, right? Because when they're built for Kier, he's got the ball under control, waiting for the right moment. Release it to Bellarabi. Takes a shot, terrible shot. So that was good. <laughs> I was just hoping he didn't score straight away from the counter. That would have been freaking frustrating. But yeah, Forvin to Danny Alves. Come on, Danny, Danny. Tries releasing to Mbappe. He tries to get the rebound there, but Naldo, man, what a beast. It's the first time I played Naldo in the weekending. I don't see him often in the weekending. He doesn't seem to be a similar face in most people's teams, but he's got nice shot power, I guess. But this guy does a few skill moves here and there. We try and clearing the ball, but I don't know, man. The passing was not up to scratch this game. It just wasn't. Like, it was nowhere close to being up to scratch. But the Pirate tries to release it to Mbappe. Once again, the passing was not there, man. Like, I don't know, man. It was just not looking good. <laughs> it was literally not looking good. But yeah, man, we were still in the game, which was the most important. It was important we could switch on. Memphis Depay release it to Goretzka. Back to Depay. Depay tries to take a finesse there. And I know this guy's in danger with his finesses. To be fair, anyone's in danger with their finesses. Finesse outside the box is 2 AP. You can't be given that much space because after they'll just take advantage of it. He crosses it in and he gets his goal with Naldo. He does a short corner with Anthony Martial. Uh, oh, I thought it was Naldo. No, it was Eric Bailly. He does get his goal and he's 2-1 up after 43 minutes. I wouldn't say it's deserved because he didn't do much. But I was losing the ball too much, which cost him to get the ball. You know what I mean? So, yeah. He's 4-3 uh, four, up, 2-1 up. After 45 minutes, we're still in the game. It's not the end of the world, to be honest. Felipe Anderson, down the wings, brilliant. Tries slotting it into the pie there, but we do lose the ball, unfortunately. And there we go, man. He's trying to catch us in the counter just before half time. I don't want to concede because if I concede, I swear out of something was going to get broken. Yeah. <laughs> Nibel Fikir to Bellarabi. Right now, the brilliant piece of, piece of play there. But after half time, we are 2 1. Down. We only had two shots, one on target. And once again, we were clinical. We weren't playing the best. This was nowhere close to the best game I've played of FIFA. Like, I was playing terrible. As you guys can see, he's just going to seize the game out. Like, I don't know, man. Fair play to this guy, man. He was seizing the game out. We couldn't get the goal. 
we couldn't break through his defence. We were struggling. We were not the best of form. That L where we joined my friend's party hit me, man. It, it, it just hit me, man. Like, I was like, I worked so hard for that W. And after I joined the party and I lost. Like, it's frustrating. It happens, you know what I mean? But yeah, when this game got to me, I should have maybe turned the PS4 off after that thing. But the thing is, I was forced to play these games because I had no, I have no time on the weekend. So you guys will be seeing these uploads on the weekend. But yeah. I've literally played all these games on a Friday. The only thing I'm going to say, I wouldn't advise it, man. I wouldn't advise it. At certain stages, it was good because it kept me going. But at certain stages, man, the concentration, especially to the end, I just wanted to get rid of the games. Like, I was tired. It's not the best, man. It's way better to split the games. Normally, maximum, I play 15 games on a Friday. I played 30 on a Friday, man. That's like eight hours of FIFA, man. It's fucking crazy. But yeah, man, the most importantly, I did it for you guys. I did it for me as well to get those rewards. Keep it going. Road to I don't want to delay it. But yeah, we've come into another game. Of course, there's a dead with Hazard. I believe this is game 26. No, 27, I believe. Game 27. He had a really nice looking team. Really good team. Hazard and from Arnold. He had Wijnaldum as well. Just a really nice overall looking team, man. We needed to react, boys. We needed a W after taking two L's in a row. One of them was a bullshit L. The other one, he dominated, man. He played better than me. I played nowhere close to the best of my ability. But yeah, he's got Trezeguet Zola. He takes a finesse with Trezeguet. Obviously, it's a goal. No chance to keep it there. He is 1-0 up after 20 minutes. And I was just thinking, please, please don't be the same thing as every week. Like, I always... Just going downhill in the last 10 games so yeah man we're one nil down with Trezeguet man brilliant finesse by Trezeguet can't be given that much space but yeah man it, it felt like from one one moment to another I couldn't do anything as FIFA like I couldn't hack it like I couldn't break through their defenses I don't know man it's like I stopped learning learning I stopped knowing how to play FIFA like I, obviously I'm starting to play harder opponents but that L hit me man Lofty scores 2 0 up and he's just seizing the game out. Fair play to this guy once again. He had control over the game the whole game. I couldn't hack it. I couldn't do much. He dominated the whole game. He deserved that win. We skip straight to game 28, I believe. Game 28. Yes, it is game. No, game 27 or 28. I'm not sure. But yeah, man, we needed to react. But we were literally three L's on the bounce. After having three wins in a row in the fir first set of 10 games, we take three L's. He had a really nice looking team. Matuidi, Fakir. Depay, Lala, Van Dijk, Chesney, what a bloody team, looking really sweaty, but yeah man, we needed this win ASAP, because I'm pretty sure if, if we take a no in this game, that would have been it man, like, gold one dash elite was over man, I think at this stage we couldn't hit elite, I'm pretty sure we couldn't hit elite, so the aim was to hit that gold one, which is, I'll take gold one, elite has always been the dream, elite has always been the dream, but gold one, Gold 1 has been something I want to achieve. It's progress being made. I've, I'm st stuck at Gold 2. But yeah, man. We tried getting a goal, but for some reason it was offside there. Skip to the 30th minute. It was a pretty good game into this stage. We do get our goal. Tova, what a shot. What a finish. When I tell you what a finish, I mean, look at that finish by Fulvin. Crucial winners of tight game. We were both struggling to break through each other's defense. I always say this. But it just is, man. We were struggling. I couldn't... Like, I was struggling, man. Like, but 33rd minute, we finally found the gap. And we do take a banging shot at Thorvin, which puts us in the lead. 1-0 up. It's important we get this W, boys. Consider we were going on a down, pff, downhill, man. But he tries finessing it there with a kick. Straight from kickoff. Nearly scored there, to be fair. But the most important, he did not go in. Danny Alves to Thorvin. Thorvin just opens up like, teams, like, simple as... Fall into Varane. Varane? <laughs> Varane, what the fuck? Varane. Memphis to Pi. Brilliant score uh, brilliant school move there. Release it to Fabinho. He this guy was good at moving his keeper. Do you know what I mean? He was moving his keeper really well. He was really moving his keeper really well, boys. Now both for Kier. Bang. We try releasing the ball there, but Memphis takes a shot. Boom. 2 0 up. 38 minutes. We're not messing about, boys. 2 0 up. He didn't miss a clear chance. We didn't miss a chance before it with Fabinho. But we get the goal, which is the most important. 2 0 up after 38 minutes. It was crucial we keep this up because we need this W ASAP. It's one of them games where I need this W. Like, it's a must win. After taking nearly, I believe it's two or three L's in a row, we couldn't afford to take another L. Elite was over. 
gold one was still a possibility and I really wanted to hit that gold one spot to show that progress has been made and often in the future we hit elite but yeah man gold one is nice rewards man 200k packs you get two player uh two red picks we once again go out there again we try finesse with Mbappe force for Fakir try taking another shot the ball just didn't want to go in for the third goal but as you guys can see we're going to see the game out but yeah man we are literally just seizing the game out at this stage I needed to hold on to this win. I was doing everything to hold on to this win, man. I wanted to have a reaction. Get that W. Stop building up our good form because we needed that consistent momentum for the end of the last few games so we could hit that gold one spot. But yeah, as you guys saw, he did score 2 1, unfortunately. So we're back on our back for under pressure. He does get the gold though. 87 minutes in. Pff, we're just seizing the game out, holding on to the game. Fabinho does get a 3 1 there, and we do get the W, boys. We do get the W. We played this guy called JGB. He had Rivaldo. He had everyone, man. Literally, he had everyone. When I tell you he had everyone, I mean it. Like It was crazy. We make it 1-1, 2-1 after. He makes it 2-2. It was just a crazy game, man. Absolutely crazy game. <sighs> we get our 3-2 lead there after we literally just seize the game out. Like You're going to see it. We're literally just keeping the ball. I was going to show you guys the gameplay for the full video, but I don't want to make it too long for this video. Like It's already pretty long, the video, so... Yeah, just didn't want to long it out. I kind of did already, but you know what I mean. But yeah, 3 2, we do get the W boys, which means we were in top 100 at this stage. Imagine that. Top 100 at this stage, because obviously we played all our games, so not many people played. Therefore, we were top 100. But yeah, he had Lacazette, Hazard, Hullet, Mbappe, Water Team, Inpom Van Dijk. Pfft, it's going to be a struggle to beat this guy. But yeah, man, we needed to win this game to hit that gold one, boys. Hit that gold one. I was feeling good. We needed that W. Like, you don't understand how many, like, how many weaklings I've been stuck on goal to due to stupid mistakes, due to rushing my games, due to, I don't know, man, just so many factors that stopped me due to not being consistent. So many factors that stop me from hitting that gold one dash elite. And that's why I want to be at this stage of FIFA. And it's annoying when you're stuck in goal two. But yeah, man, 20 minutes in, it's a pretty tight game. We're both struggling. He's got a really nice looking team. I know I can't give him space because if I do, then it's game over, to be honest. But yeah, Mbappe to Fabinho. Tries to release it to Fleet Banderson. Doesn't work there. Hula does get the ball. Release it to Laka. Laka to Memphis Depay, who does a brilliant sprint there. Crosses it into killing Mbappe. And we are 1 0 down after 25 minutes. So basically, at this stage, I needed two games. So I had this game and another game, and I had to win at least one of them. But I don't want to leave it for the last game because that's just too much pressure. I don't like it. But yeah, but we're one nil down after 25 minutes, man. That's just annoying. Really annoying. But yeah, it's just what it is, I guess. But we had to keep fighting, man. We needed to fight for that win. We needed it ASAP. Like I needed to show that I won it. Like I had to put everything, all the eggs in the bar. So we needed this W, man. You don't understand how important it is. I really want to take gold one. I'm fed up of hitting gold two. But he crosses it in. Nearly gets ahead of there. And if he did score that, to be fair, he would have been up. But Nabil Fakir tries to find some space. Does a cheeky drag back. Waiting for someone to make runs. Release to Fabinho. Fabinho does a terrible pass, man. But Danny Alves anticipates him and does get the tackle there. Bappo in a flip flap. Tries to release it. Finally releases it after a bit of bloody confusion there with Hullet. But man, we're struggling to break through this guy's defence, man. It's just not working right now. Like. We're one nil down. We're struggling, but yeah, he's running with Lacazette. Sergio Ramos, absolute beast. Keep doesn't keep going though. Lacazette crosses it, and he gets two nil. I think Sergio Ramos could have done a little bit better there, but we're two nil down. Two goals to killing Mbappe. At this stage, we go attacking. We have to risk it, man. We need to go that goal ASAP to put him under pressure mm -hmm. and to put us back into the game. So yeah, we're two nil down after 34 minutes. Not looking the best. Memphis play with a bit of skills from kickoff. We release it. We try and release. We should have got a goal there. We should have got a goal there. Like seriously, how are we not getting a goal there? I will never understand. Like what the hell was that, man? But 36 minutes, two 0 down. It's not looking the best. We need a goal asap to come back into the game. Killing Mbappe down the wing for him. Crosses it in, and he gets his third goal. But he literally scored three goals from pretty much the last two goals. I'm, I forgot the first goal, but the second and third goal from crosses, man. And he was yeah, three 0 up, man. Three 0 up. I don't know man, it just didn't look good. You know, Bill Fikir releases to Fabinho. Fabinho to Fakir to Memphis. We needed a reaction, man. We needed a goal ASAP. Like, 
quick because three 0 down. We needed a goal at least in this half, which put us back into the game. We needed two goals as quick as possible. So after we have the rest of the half to put them under pressure and also get that equaliser. Because the moment, for example, when you're two three 0 up, you need to see the game out. If your opponent starts to score one goal or two goal, you just start you just start to hesitate. You start to go under pressure and start, which causes you to do mistakes. So yeah, man, we needed that goal ASAP. Fabinho, brilliant pass to Felipe Anderson there. Vesalco just barged him out of the way. And yeah, stops him from going through. But he does a bad clearance there with Van Dijk. Nibel Fakir finesses it, but he moves his keeper manually and saves that comfortably. Like, I don't know, man. I need to start working on that. Maybe I need to start doing that myself. But I need to know how to score against it. But Memphis Depay, brilliant control there. And he bloody puts it in the back of there. Brilliant one-twos with Felipe Anderson. Memphis Depay, just before half-time, gets us that goal. That puts us back in the game. And yeah, man, we're 3-1 down at this stage. But yeah, at least we're back in the game. I wanted to get that goal. Second half, we had the whole second half to fight for this, for this bloody W, boys. Because I was going for it, man. I was not going to give up. I was thinking in my head, if I can still 4 nil, then I'll rage it. But if once it's 3 nil, there's always a possibility. FIFA is a game that can easily change. You can easily go to the other half quickly. So there's always a chance of you coming back into the game, boys. Especially when I, I wanted this gold one. I was fighting for it. I was playing my best. I was concentrating 100% to get it. Despite him having a good team, I believe we can turn this around. And yeah, when you believe and you work towards it, anything is possible. But as you can see, 58th minute is a crucial moment of the game. He has like a free kick inside his box with his keeper. And it's pretty much a goal kick. He just does a mistake. I read that he was going to pass it. Memphis Depay anticipates it. Comes in front of his defender. Takes a shot. And <laughs> it hits the crossbow, man. I swear, like, I don't even put that much power and it hits the crossbow. But the most importantly is we scored a free two, man. With 60 minutes in, we got 30 minutes to fight for that equaliser. Like, we were struggling to even get a shot when we were 3-0 down. And after... One goal literally turned the whole game around. Like we started attacking, we started creating chances, we started to play well, man. Fabinho releases to Fakir. Fakir takes a shot. What a save by bloody Allison! Like, what a bloody save! But yeah, man, we're putting this guy under pressure. We're doing everything to get this W, man. It's looking good. Like, it's looking really good. And after he falls outside the box, Sergio Ramos. You wouldn't believe it, boys. Sergio Ramos puts it in the back of the net. Free, free. What a finesse! After skip to the hundred ninety ninth minute, boys. We go to extra time, and as you guys can see, we do get our four-three lead. Memphis Depay, his keeper takes a touch, and Memphis Depay just behind him, back post, and headers it in, boys. We're four-three up. We're losing three now. This is why you never give up, boys. Never ever give up. And after we just seize this game out, boys, to get that bloody gold one spot, man. Like you don't understand how happy I was hitting that gold one spot for the first time in this weekend league. But yeah, man, 122 minutes, the ref blows, we hit goal one, I'm going crazy, I'm like, fucking did it. And especially when we rushed it, like, we rushed these games, we had one game, one day to play these games, and we played all of them, we did it, boys. 18 shots, 12 on target, after we got that first goal with Memphis Depay, actually dominant, and we're top 100 as well, which is cute, <laughs> cute, not cute, but you know what I mean, which is pretty cool. Top 100, Um, obviously it's not going to last because obviously 20 wins is not enough for top 100 but it's always good but yeah don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you already that'd be much appreciated we open a goal upgrade we've got back here we go. hopefully you guys are enjoying this videos trying to release these as consistently as possible but yeah it's been your boy mr mike here back again with another episode of road to reserve your rtg see ya